can't let that 500 bucks slip through your fingers. You gotta sign up for that tournament. I think I should, huh? Oh, but I haven't got a chance, Freddy. I shot 105 last year. Well, that's not so bad. For nine holes? <laughs> I bet you that, except for the fellow I was playing with. He, he didn't give me a five-inch putt, and that put six strokes on my score right there. It'll be different this year, Mick. I'll caddy for you. Yeah? I'll club you right. I'll give you moral support. Yeah. And, uh, I got hay fever. What do you mean? I'm pretty good at sneezing when the other guy is putting. <laughs> with that 500 bucks, huh? Oh, boy, you're so right. But it's just wishful thinking. Mr. Brown will win it again, just as he has for the past three years. Now, look, Mick. You remember what they taught us in the Army, don't you? What's that? Nothing is impossible. Yeah, I remember what they taught us, but when I asked to be promoted from private to PFC, they said, that's impossible. <laughs> you can't keep winning every year. you got a great chance of beating them. What makes you think I have? Well, you've got the advantage of a 35-stroke handicap. And I've got another handicap, too. What's that? No talent. <laughs> See, there you go. There you go being modest again. I tell you, Mick, you're a great natural golfer. What makes you so sure that I, I could be? Well, you're just average at other sports, so you must be a great golfer. <laughs> yes, maybe I am at that. do have sort of a slamming Sammy Sneed stance to me, huh? Not only that, but you grip that club just like Ben Hogan. Mm-hmm. Watch now. <laughs> Careful with the right hand. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can win the tournament with Pop's clubs. They just don't use clubs like this nowadays. They were good enough for your father, and they're good enough for you. I know, but this type of equipment, Mom, went out with button shoes. Your father has a pair of those in the attic. Do you want them? <laughs> Hello, darling. Michael. Hi, Pop. Uh, how is Jim? Much better. I just left him. Well, now to just line her up and put her in. Four, 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 four. four. <laughs> Sleeve shot on your shirt in a jiffy, Joe. Then I want you to try it on. Say, Michael, take it easy with those clubs, will you? I've had them 27 years, and I don't want anything to happen to them. <laughs> I don't think much more can. Well, the tournament's on Saturday. You ought to gotten some practice at the course. Yeah, I plan on going out tomorrow after work and playing a couple of holes, probably. Yeah, that's where I'll be tomorrow. Oh, Joe, you gonna play golf? No, this is business. They're having a fashion show out at the club tomorrow, and some of the women will be wearing very expensive jewelry. I'm in charge of the detail to keep an eye on the trinkets. You watch your peas and 20 carats worth. Don't even kid about it, Nell. If one of those jewels gets stolen, the whole department will be in the frying pan. Look, Pop, seeing as how you're going to be out at the club tomorrow, maybe you could uh, sort of help me with my... my swing. Son, tomorrow I'm not your father. I beg your pardon? I'm supposed to mingle with a guest like one of the members. Now, remember, if you see me, we're perfect strangers. Oh, you're, you're working on a case tomorrow. Check. I never thought I'd be altering a shirt for a perfect stranger. Now, son, let's see the swing of a true champion. Swing of a true champion. Now, just notice how I distribute my weight to the right heel as I swing that. <laughs> Too much distribution. Mrs. Courtney claims her diamond pin has been stolen. What makes you think it was stolen? It was worth $25,000. What am I going to do? Oh, all right, all right. Now, everybody calm down. Think back a minute. Did you notice any strangers hanging around you? Well, a man rushed past me as I was coming in from the dining room. What did he look like? Oh, I remember him distinctly. He didn't look like a crook. No, they no. never do. No, he had wavy gray hair. It was it gray? A little more brown, perhaps. And it wasn't exactly wavy. In fact, he was almost bald. <laughs> oh, there's one more thing I remember. He had a trim little mustache. Or was it a goatee? <laughs> well, anyway, it was the same color as his hair. 
Same color. <laughs> for the tournament tomorrow? Yeah, two dozen ought to be enough here. I don't know, Mick. You lost that many on the first six holes today. Yeah. Look, just to be safe, let me run in the clubhouse and get a couple of dozen more, all right? Okay, Fred. I'll meet you at the car. Good. Oh, and, and Fred. Oh, oh, I'm, oh, I'm so sorry, sir. Excuse me. Why don't you watch where you're going? I, I'm, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Oh, I'm lucky sorry, ball. Sir. I've got to find it. Your lucky ball. Maybe, yeah. maybe this is it. If you don't mind, I'll find my I'm own. Sorry. I'm sorry. Could this be your ball, sir? Didn't you hear me? I'll find my own. Sure. If you do find one with an X on it, that's mine. Huh? Hey, well, couldn't I just give you one of my balls and we'll call it even? Hey, look, son. I'm in a hurry. I, I'll take them all. Huh? Yeah, I'll buy them from you. Buy them? How much do I owe you? Well, I paid eight cents a piece for them or two for 15. I don't know what to charge you for that. Let's see. Here, here's two times... bucks. I don't take care of it. Uh, well, yeah. I'll times... see you later, huh? Two times 12 is... Ooh. for an hour and a half. I tell you, it ain't here. It's got to be here. This is where I bumped into that kid and the ball spilled all over the ground. Kid must have the ball. Can you remember what he looks like? Believe me, I'll never forget that face. Do you something, gentlemen? Uh, yes. Lost my lucky golf ball. I can't seem to play without it. Lost your lucky golf ball, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. Don't worry. They got lots more in the pro shop. <laughs> Come on. Let's find that kid. Four, four, four! <laughs> Sorry, sir. Hay fever. It's very strange you don't have hay fever when Mulligan's shooting. Mark that, oh, mark, mark that, sir. Mark that, please. Tournament, Mr. Brown. <laughs> Your shadows just a little bit, gentlemen. Back, please. Just a bit. Thank you. It's only three inches away from the cup. I, I, I couldn't miss it if I wanted to. Why, it's so close. It's ridiculous to have to mark a ball like that. Tournament rules. Mark it. But, Mr. Brown, who could miss a putt like this? Why, if a fly lit on the ball, it, it's liable to knock it in by itself. It, Tournament rules. It's only mark it. Inches away, I...
Anybody can make this putt, Mr. Bond. Not it, I'll... Just a... Hold on. Ah, <laughs> It's me. Well, I really do have hay fever. trouble's been. I didn't have my golf glove on. So all I need. <laughs> what does that give you? That's, uh, it gave me one over. One over, one over what? Seven. That makes an eight. Mr. Brown, you had a bogey five. Bogey five? No, no, you're wrong. I had a par four. No. Now, I... wait a minute. I was two on the apron of the green. Right. I chipped up in three. And then he sneezed on my... Five. Give me a five. That's right. <laughs> Whatever happened to the game of golf, I used to love. Got a five. Yeah. Come on, we're holding up the whole tournament. Put the pin in the cup. Let's get off the green. We can't stand around and hold a play like this. Hurry up. We'd prefer not to be interrupted. I'm very sorry, but this is important. Pardon me, sir, but aren't you the gentleman that bought those used golf balls from me? You forgot to give me my lucky golf ball. You know the one with the X marked on it? You know what happened? Can't we discuss this later? Mulligan, please drive off. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Me, but what is it you wanted, sir? The ball. The one with the X on it. Do you have it? Do I have it? <laughs> Didn't you just see me slice it off into the woods over there? Into the woods. <laughs> Well, I'm in trouble. I still haven't caught that diamond thief in the heat saw down at the precinct. Oh, I must be running along. I never speak to strangers. Don't be silly. I told you not to recognize them, but there's nobody watching us. Sir, are you trying to pick me up? Now, listen. Oh, all right. I've made a mistake. You just remind me of another beautiful woman I know, my wife. Do tell. Tell me more. She has sparkling blue eyes just like yours. They're amber. And a cute little pug nose just like yours. Oh, I better move along. You're beginning to turn my head. If you should happen to see my wife, tell her I hope to be home for dinner. I'm just hanging around in case the diamond thief is still working this tournament. It's probably a million miles away by now. Well, if my husband can't catch him, nobody can. See you later, stranger. I'm going to watch a real champion play in the tournament. My son. Marilyn Monroe should live so long. <laughs> Ready, boy. It's lucky we found that ball in all that heavy grass, huh? Yeah, well, take your two-stroke penalty and toss the ball over your shoulder. Mr. Brown's waiting for us on the second green. Yeah. Well, watch it. Say, I wonder why that fellow wanted this ball so badly. It's just an ordinary golf ball. You know, I've been thinking the very same thing, Mick. There's something fishy about that ball. <laughs> you think it was a diamond or something? Hey, yeah. hey, Mick. Here comes your father. Let's ask him about it. Yeah. 
Say, uh, Pop. I... <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, stranger. I thought you were somebody else, somebody that wasn't supposed to be here today. <laughs> Why didn't you ask him? Because I'm not supposed to recognize him, remember? Yeah, but this is important, Mick. This might be just the clue your father's waiting for. Well, what kind of a clue could we get out of a golf ball? Well, I was thinking... Remember that $25,000 diamond that was stolen from the fashion show yesterday? Yeah. Well, maybe the crook took it out of the pin, put it inside this ball, and that's where he's hiding it. Oh, no, wait a minute, Freddie. You're, you're letting your imagination run away with you. You mean to tell me somebody just unscrewed this ball, put the diamond inside, screwed it back on? Oh, <laughs> Those two guys in the caddy car, they're the crooks. Huh? Oh, that's why they wanted to buy all the balls. From me. And, they're, and they're looking for the guy that's got the ball with the diamond in it. That's you, man. No, no, no. That, it, it's you, Freddy. No, it ain't me. I'm just a caddy, remember? Yeah. Now, wait a minute. Let's calm down. Well, after all, what can they do to us out here on the golf course? Well, for one thing, they can shoot us. Oh, sure. They just carry around a shotgun in their golf bag. <laughs> yes, Mr. Sharky. We can get the ball without shooting anybody. I ain't gonna shoot anybody. Not yet. I tell you, we ought to, ought to turn this over to the police, report it. I think we ought to drop it back into the tall grass and run for our lives. Mulligan, you're holding up the game. Will you please drop the ball and make your shot? Something has come up that makes the tournament very unimportant, Mr. Brown. Nothing's more important than the tournament. Mick, why don't you let him carry the ball? We don't carry the ball to the cup. We hit it with a club. <laughs> Mulligan, get on the ball. Mr. Brown, what if I was to tell you that there's a $25,000 diamond hidden in this golf ball? I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to win this tournament by driving me out of my mind. It won't work, my friend. I tell you, the ball unscrews. I'll give you exactly five seconds to drop the ball and make your shot. You explain it to him, will you? Well, I've been thinking it over, Mick, and I'm beginning to disbelieve it myself. You have one half second left, Mulligan. I'll be careful, Sharky. Don't worry, I ain't gonna hit anybody. I'm just gonna scatter them. We'll run in and grab the ball. Are you sure you don't want me to swing, tell you about them? Swing, Mulligan. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wow, look at that ball go. <laughs> Did you see what wait happened? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. It went in the hole. I, I do better when I don't even hit the ball. Come on, Fred. <laughs> wait a minute, I demand an explanation. <laughs> It was a stupid thing to do. Did you have to hit the ball? I hope it and my aim is so good. Oh, stop crowing. Come on, let's go after them. It's my ball, all right. Look, there's the X on it. Yeah, it's also got a bullet hole on it. Yeah. I got a great idea, Mick. Let's give up golf and beat it. Was that your ball? Yes, sir. Was it in the cup? Yes, sir. That gives you a birdie three, but I claim a disqualification. Disqualification, but Mr. Brown, look. This is the ball that unscrews itself. Now, don't start that again. Here, look. Look, let me show you. Good heavens, a diamond. Yeah, and yeah, there's also a bullet mark on it, too. I think somebody's after us. Let's take it in and report it to the police. Yeah. Hey, hey, look, here they come again. Yeah, well, where, where, where am I going to hide it? I'm going to swallow it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little dry. I need a little water with it or something. Put it in your pocket. All right, kid. Cut out the hide and seek. Give me the ball. Now, uh, now, 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 now sir, please, look. Look, I... I, I now, I, just a minute. We can play pretty rough. Hey, Mick, he's got a gun. Yeah, I hope it's only for shooting golf balls out of trees. See here. I'm Charles Brown, vice president in charge of production of IBC, the network that is first in seven out of ten markets. This is an official tournament, and I demand to know why you men are terrorizing people on this golf course. Ah, uh, shut up. Hey, the kids have got our candy car. Stop or we'll shoot! Stop, sir. Hey, get rid of the gun. Here come some people. One word out of you, and I'll break your arm. Mr. Brown, you're playing very slowly. Do you mind if we go through? No, not at all. Oh, thank you. Thank you again, Mr. Brown. Oh, Mr. Brown! Shooting at us, step on it. Who said the golf was 
still back there. Somebody's got to be expendable. Vazda, Vazda. I've got the thing down to the floor now. Faster, Mr. Mulligan, faster. It won't go any faster. that thing had run down, Freddy. Yeah. Another three feet and it would have had us. Now, wh wait a minute. Wait a minute, will you, please? I, I got to rest for a second. Well, come on. We got to take that diamond into the clubhouse, Mick. Yeah. And this diamond sure has caused us a lot of trouble, huh? I wonder what people see in them. You can see a lot in the diamond if you look close enough. Let's take that back to the clubhouse. I don't want anything else happening to it. All right, Fred. But the thieves are caught. I don't know what else could happen to the diamond. Hey. <laughs> well, don't just stand there, Freddy. Help me find the ball with the X on it. Look, buddy, they're all marked with an X. Mickey Rooney will be back in just a moment. a good word from the folks who bring you our next show. We hope you'll be joining our foursome then. And in case you're interested, we found the ball with the X marked on it, and we, we got the diamond back and returned it to Mrs. Courtney. Mr. Brown won the tournament, and well, I haven't added up my score yet. 